How to install PostgreSQL with Ansible in uh, Debian-like system? I'm going to show you a live demo and some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. In order to install PostgreSQL on a Debian-like system, you need to perform three steps. The first step is to install the packages to perform server, client, and utility. You are going to use the ansible.builtin.apt ansible module. These include the distribution-related binaries, library, and documentation for your Debian-like system. The second step is to initialize the PostgreSQL database. There is a common line utility that you could execute using the ansible ansible.builtin.shell module. The effective command executed is postgre is init db. This code is executed only if necessary. The conditional check was performed by the ansible builtin.stat module. The first step is to start and enable on boot the PostgreSQL service at, at boot time using the builtin.service-sensible module. Let's jump in a real-life playbook to install PostgreSQL in Debian-like system with Ansible. I'm going to show you how to install the PostgreSQL 14 server client and the Python libraries to manage the DBMS. Second step is to install PostgreSQL database initialization only if data were not present. After these steps, you are able to start the service and enable at boot time. Welcome on my editor. I'm going to show you one Ansible playbook to install PostgreSQL in Debian-like system. First of all, let's begin our play with a name PostgreSQL demo that is going to be executed on host all of my inventory. Let me set become to true because uh, I need a root privilege to install packages on the target system. Let me define uh, four different variables PostgreSQL underscore version, this is dependent by your distribution packages, in my case under Ubuntu 22.04 LTS we have a version 14. So let me also specify the PostgreSQL bin path, this is a standard path on your distribution under USR, lib and Postgres and then there is a specific part based on the version this is why I define a separate variable and under this version there is a bin directory this is the, where all the execu execution part of your this database happen there is another interesting part that is where the data is located this is a standard path and a var lib postgresql same story PostgreSQL version and uh, slash main. Here we go. Everything seems sorted out. Let me also specify ansible underscore ssh underscore pipeline. Ning, let me enable this feature that uh, allow to send the code directly to the Python interpreter without uh, copy any temporary file. This is for permission. Okay, first of all, let's uh, install the related packages using ansible.builtin.apt module. This module interacts directly with the apt, the package manager of every Debian and Ubuntu-like system. First of all, we have a PostgreSQL uh, server, then uh, PostgreSQL-contrib, these are other contributor useful utilities, lib, pq-dev and python3 dash psi copg2 this library is a wrapper used by some 
Ansible model to interact with Postgres. This is extremely useful for the following lesson. Now, second step is to check if PostgreSQL is already initialized. We are doing this uh, accessing one specific file into the data directory. Okay, using stat module included in Ansible built-in. Okay, so let's uh, target the data directory. In my case, I choose pg underscore hba.conf. This is the configuration of your client, but seems a good canary test. Let me save the result under postgres underscore data variable. Now let's uh, run the initialization if needed. So initialize postgres is the task name. Okay, what we could we should do? Well, we need to run uh, a shell uh, script, uh, so let me use uh, Ansible built-in shell. This script is located under Postgres beam path and is called uh, specifically init db. Okay, with one parameter, capital letter D and the data path. Cool! Okay, but we need to uh, run this code as uh, a separate user, so I need to become, uh, uh, let me set become and specify become underscore user, in my case Postgres. This is the main user to work with uh, Postgres database. Okay, other things, uh, we need to run this code only when Postgres underscore data dot stats exist, or at least not exist, so let me add a not. So if the configuration file doesn't exist, uh, means that also the data directory doesn't exist, uh, we need to run the initialization uh, procedure. Okay, when everything is sorted out, the binary are installed, the Postgres is initialized, we can finally run the service using Ansible built-in service module we could run a service name Postgres. Okay, this status, this state must be started and enabled on boot. And that's it. We performed all the necessary setup step to set up our Postgres database in a Debian-like system, Ubuntu as well. So we install the packages. We run the initialization procedure only if needed and start and enable the service on boot. Yay, we are ready to have fun! Welcome to the terminal of my Ansible controller. First of all, let me connect to my demo machine. This is a freshly installed one. So via SSH, DevOps is my username at ubuntu.example.com. As you can see, we got a confirmation that is Ubuntu 24.02 LTS. Uh, let me switch to root user to verify the version of uh, available Postgres packages. Version 14. Cool. Let me also verify that the Python library, Python 3, PSI, CoPG2 is not installed on the system. Okay, now let's check it out with data directory and uh, slash var slash bin postgres slash 14 version we say before slash main slash pg underscore hba this is the client configuration file doesn't exist well look very fresh machine what about uh, the systemd postgres sql well cool the service doesn't exist so it's real it's a fresh machine with no touch of postgres before he doesn't have any data, doesn't have any package, doesn't have any service. We could install manually or we could use the Ansible playbook that we just wrote a few minutes ago. So Ansible playbook dash is, is my inventory file and then the name of my Ansible playbook. Okay, install underscore Debian. Here we go. In a blink of an eye, the code is going to be executed. First step is to install the required packages 
This is also the most impactful uh, step uh, on the target machine because uh, it is completely dependent by the performance of the machine as well as the networking. Under the hood, uh, Ansible is connecting to the APT, the package manager, and taking care of all the necessary dependency to install the binaries as well as the contribution library and the Python binding to connect with. So all a bunch of packages more or less has an impact of 50 megabyte on the hard drive and the APT through Ansible is taking care of all the necessary steps. So we just need to wait. We are expecting to receive a one change status, which means operation were performed on the target node. Cool, and it, it does. Also, Postgres was successfully initialized and the service now is up and running. What happens if we run again the same code or we run the code on uh, already provided uh, machine? Well, we got only OK status. This property is called hidden potency. Now, let's double check manually that everything is sorted out. Let's connect together via SSH, switch again to root user and type the same command as before. So, apt list postgres sql. This time we got installed mark, which means package is successfully installed. Okay, what about the li Python library? Python 3 psycho pg2 is installed. Yay! What about the data directory? Okay, so let's list together slash var lib postgresql 14 main pg underscore hba. Yay, success! Oh, there is a lot of fun here. What about the service? System control status postgresql. And is successfully active, started and enabled on boot. Perfect, so we we switched from one empty machine to a completely up and running database machine. Now we can move forward in our automation journey, configure some users, setting up some database, but we have a strong foundation that the setup was completely automated on a Debian-like machine and Ubuntu. Yay! Great success! Now you know how to install PostgreSQL in a Debian-like system. Thank you for watching, I hope this lesson was useful for you and you could automate more of your system administrator journey. Have a great day, see us on the next lesson of Ansible Pilot. This video is part of our Ansible automation program, sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.